Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Dead Don't Die. And I remember going into this year, there was a lot of buzz for this Jim Jarmusch film, and he makes very dry, very quirky kind of films that honestly probably don't hit really well with a whole lot of mainstream audiences. His films are really like, if you like that dry humor, awkwardness in a film, and very just offbeat kind of tone to things, that's what you get from his films. And this is exactly that. The Dead Don't Die is about zombies coming up from the dead in this small, like, backwoods town. And the film kind of just follows around over the course of a couple of days with a whole a collection of different characters, some of which are really interesting, some of them feel like they're just kind of thrown in there. And whether it's the police department in town, or the strange, very strange mortician in town, or some young hipster kids from Pittsburgh, probably. And all these different people dealing with all these strange zombie happenings. And first things first, this film is really funny and dry and weird. This is a weird movie. And honestly, if you're really not into weird films or offbeat humor, really dry humor, this film's really not for you. But I got a lot of enjoyment out of especially Bill Murray and Adam Driver, because both of them are pitch perfect when it comes to really dry, uncomfortable humor. And they work so well together in this film. And there's so many other performances. Tilda Swinton's really, really odd. More odd than most of her films, which is saying a lot because she's usually pretty odd. She is that strange character that pops up in a film and she's that times a hundred in this one. And really, this film just keeps going until it seems to be hitting some kind of like pressure point, honestly. There's no like definitive start to end kind of thing. It's just zombies coming for everybody and what's going to happen when they get to everybody. And... There is some very strange meta humor in this film, and really outworldly kind of twists and turns about this film that were completely unexpected, really took me off guard, but I found them really funny. I think the big thing that I had an issue with with this film is it tries to get really political and really obnoxiously. It's not subtle at all, which usually Jim Jarmusch films are very subtle. Subtlety is one of the strengths of his films and this one's kind of really on the nose with voiceover and television ads and radio broadcasts and everything and it's just like okay we get it and honestly there feels like there's particular characters that are just brought into the film to do that and then it does get a little meta in terms of making fun of different kinds of zombie films and tropes and cliches that happen in them and I appreciated that. Honestly, this film is really weird, really offbeat, and I vibed with it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. This is definitely not for everybody. And if you are somebody that likes pretty straightforward humor, pretty straightforward films, this film is not straightforward at all, and it's probably not going to be the kind of film that you're going to enjoy. But if you've seen Jim Jarmusch films before, You'll really enjoy this because this is really a Jim Jarmusch film. And when it's all said and done, it's a quirky, crazy fun time for like an hour and 40 minutes. And those are my thoughts. Comment, let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. And thank you, as always, for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.